The thing you don't realize, Jan, is everything was good for a while. Um, Jared, Jack, lovely to meet you. First of all, congratulations on Glassland. Absolutely brilliant film. Thank you. I say it yesterday. Great from start to finish. Can you just explain to me a little bit how you got the idea for Glassland? Yeah, I come from rural Ireland um, uh, and uh, County Kerry, and uh, you know, moved to Dublin when I was 21 after college, and, and uh, you know, just kind of found that there was a, a you know a lot of visible addiction going on in the sense that I really wasn't used to in rural Ireland. Don't, go, don't get me wrong, there's addiction in rural Ireland as well, but it's quite hidden, you know, and um, and and uh, you know, obviously the population isn't as, as as clustered as it would be. So I saw that, and then a lot of my friends, uh, you know, one or two of them were dealing with their parents at the time that were going through a really tough time with addiction and I saw the collateral damage it was having on them and the rest of their family and I just found it really really interesting and I kind of delved a little bit deeper into that and did a little bit more research and, and just found that there's a lot going on that's you know not to do with the person with the, the disease of addiction but with the people around them and how they uh, operate and so I kind of like put myself in that situation and wrote the script around that and, and kind of just wanted to shine a light on a few things and ask a few questions and, and, and hopefully we did that, you know? Mm. And like changing from, you're from a rural setting, how did you like, did you find it difficult to then place it into an urban setting mm. to kind of... No, because I was very much new to that environment, you know, and everything was new and fresh to me and I think, um, I think, you know, I wasn't coming to it being too familiar with Dublin or any or, or anything like that. And, and, and one thing I always said to Jack from day one as well was, you know, this just happens to be in Ireland. You know, let's mm. not dwell on that. This is an international film. We have an international cast. Uh, let's just set it in a house in, uh, in Ireland. And, um, you know, we never specify where it is in Dublin. We never specify what, you know, city it is. The, the word Dublin is never mentioned. And, and so it's just about this family that are in crisis, having a really tough time. And it kind of all falls upon Jack's character, who kind of becomes the parent of the family. And one thing I wanted to know is, did the Priory car park charges for parking that time? They were going to boot us out of there. Where man. were we? In Tyler. The car park? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the church. Yeah. Listen, man, I'm new to this part of the world. I'm very, like, when it comes to that, I didn't even know where I was. It just looked, it just looked the right place to be. And uh, what was it like to work with Tony Collette and Will Poulter? Obviously, they had to, you know, uh, finesse their Irish accents, you know? Yeah. Was that a tough part? They were both an absolute dream to work with. We had them, we had each of them for four and a half days, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, and Tony was just so invested and so forthcoming um, and she just threw herself right into it. I've never seen somebody be so brave about that. Um, it was just an astonishing thing to watch. There's hope, man. You're a good man, John. So we've got a chance. <laughs> 